All right, so I just came to Mopita Skate Park and Mowgli is right there in the back, coincidentally. Someone told me that he said he could beat me in a game of skate, so I'm gonna go confront him about it. Hey, someone told me that you told them that you can beat me in a game of skate. It's a game of skate right now, you versus me. Like right now? I'm not even warmed up. No, I didn't mean to do that. Now. What are you doing? He'll flip. Bruh, I did the full rotation. You have to pop your trick. That was a Merlin. In what world? In games of skate, you get two tries, brother. Not in this one. Can you say to the camera that I'm better? He's better. Okay, so this morning I realized that I'm extremely lazy and it's not because I stayed in bed for three hours on my phone before I got up. It's not because I didn't shower for the past week, but it's because I paid $10 for a mango. About two weeks ago, I bought myself a nice whole mango from the store for about like two, three dollars. And it just sat there in my kitchen for like two weeks and went bad. But then this morning, I saw a guy selling fruit on the sidewalk and he sold me a cup of mango that was cut up into small pieces for $10 and I bought it. And then I was thinking, why didn't I just eat the mango that I had at my house that cost $2 instead of paying $10? And I realized it's because I'm lazy. Today, we're gonna break out of that lazy cycle and I'm gonna cut open my first mango. Ooh, $1.99. See, these look so good. Oh, this is how I test out my mangoes. Time to go cut these babies up. I think that this method is ineffective. I think we're getting somewhere. Mm. This is way better than paying someone $10 to do it for me. Mm. It tastes so good. Can you eat the skin? Do you want a piece of my mango? I'm filming a cooking show. It's my first time ever cutting a mango. That's all right. I don't know why everyone's passing this up. These look so good. Ah, there's mango in my braces. Can you get it out for me? Thanks. This is the ketchup lid challenge. Oh. <laughs> it's going, it's going. No way. It is, right? Is it? Or are your hands slipping? My hands are slipping. <laughs> there's something going on with this. There's gotta be a method. This one day I was driving home, it was like midnight, and I was on the freeway, and I passed by this giant sign every time, and I actually saw a UFO on top of that sign. I was on that freeway right there, and I just look over to my left casually, and I see like an invisible object, but you know like in movies, when you see something invisible, you can like still see the outline of it? It was like, I could see through it, but I saw an outline and it was just chilling above there. I swear to God. Since I was on the freeway, I was like driving too fast to get my phone and like record it. So I was gonna just take the exit and then go back around and record it. But then I got scared and thought that the aliens were gonna abduct me if I were to like post it on social media and expose them because they didn't want to be seen, but I saw them. So pretty much I just drove home scared, thought that I was gonna get abducted and I never talked about it ever until now. I want to test to see if there's something up there right now. So I think I'm gonna throw something at it like this rock maybe. What? What? The? Did you did you hear that? What the heck? No way, bro. Did that actually leave. happened. You heard that, right? Yeah. You heard it hit something? Yeah, I swear to God. That they're bro, not, they're that's not nothing. edited. That's not edited. Bro, they're not gonna believe that though. I know. How is it still there? That happened like two years ago. Bro, let's go. I'm scared. Hell no. Hell no. Wait, hold on. Let me get my chapstick. What? Where's my chapstick? No way, bro. Check your back pocket. They're not in here. Just my empty wallet. Bro, where is it? We have to find it. Where is it? Where'd it go? Is it in here? Have you seen my chapstick? I lost my chapstick. Is it in my hair? Oh, we have to find it. I'm gonna find that chapstick if it's the last thing I do. Get in the car. We have to leave now. I think it's over there in the north. 
You're saying there's chapstick in here? This isn't chapstick, this is soft lips. They're down here. They try to hide them from us. Wait, this isn't mine. 